So here we've got little Neo, just to say hi. And uh, I've just given him his microchip, and he was an angel. He's going to the vets on Thursday, as long as I don't fall down the stairs again. <laughs> and I, I don't know if you're going to be able to notice this, but his fur is changing and he is starting to get a lighter fawn in the bottom of his legs. So I don't know if you'll be able to see that on the video, but if you can... Basically, what that means is he's not just a black abstract, he's a phantom. Yeah, you could probably see better on his back leg there. Oh, ignoring the fact that he's got abstract white toes, he's also got fawn in his legs. That makes him a phantom. Coming through very, very slowly. His coat is staying is staying black. Which is as phantoms are. There is uh, some sable in there actually. So his colour may well change as he grows, as toy poodles tend to do. They're little chameleons anyway, but um he's definitely a little bit different to how he was a few weeks ago, aren't you, son? Hey, you're going to be a little special phantom. Hey, your mummy and daddy are lucky, aren't they? Hey, they're going to get a special boy. Hmm. So he's so chilled, but for the last few days we've had them out playing in the, um, a puppy pen outside in the garden. It's been um sheltered because it's our north facing part of our garden so it's not been hot like everywhere else and we've been quite overcast and a nice breeze anyway so it's not exactly been red hot and when it did get red hot the other day I put them back in because it was cooler inside but during the day if the weather's just nice we let them play out and they love it and the little training's coming on a treat, isn't it? Eh? So yeah, everything's good. So like I say, I'm hoping to get to the vets on Thursday. My knee will let me drive. And uh, he's a microchip and he never made a sound. He was a brave little boy. So there he is. <laughs>